Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man difficulty with a hardcore mod enabled. Hardest difficulty, one save game and one fail means the end of this run. We're going to uh, today take a look at um, Operation in Highland Square just to reduce uh, the unrest. We don't want another civil uprising. But before we go into that mission, I'd like to... Uh, correct something that I falsely stated last uh, run about uh, the mine playability of Verge. It was already pretty late in the evening and that all got a bit uh, blurry. Uh, so the caller ability uh, would give you the chance to um, essentially capture everyone in the neural network. But the uh, mine playability, and that's actually what I wanted to explain, allows you to deal damage to everyone in your uh, network. It is not bad at all, specifically if you can spread the uh, neural network fast enough, which is quite possible with his abilities. He can deal three points of damage to everyone and pick, uh, pick off uh, these uh, very low targets easily. So with three to five enemies in a neural network, which isn't um, yeah, uncommon when I played him, that's nine to 15 points of damage around. Um, and mind you, uh, that is quite a massive amount of damage. AoE, only disadvantage is you don't kill anyone with it, but damage overload is a real threat for the enemies. Okay, today we're going to take a look at um, an operative uh, mission that hopefully will help us to, um, to stabilize the city a little bit. Uh, the one item that I bought, which we're going to use today on Shelter's Armor, is a mech weave for 60, uh, for 60 supplies. I read a uh, map on the Dodge stat, and apparently it's even a bit better than a normal XCOM, where a normal XCOM it just reduces your chance um, of, um, of getting hit to a grazing shot. Here it actually means, uh, as far as I understood, uh, that you can fully dodge out. So we're going to see if it's really a 50% shot. We're putting it on Shelter because he has the lowest HP and thus the AI tends to focus him first. So let's move out and take a look at uh, what the enemies are up to. See you on the crime scene. All right, here we are on the actual mission. Successful shots will crit on an enemy. Well. That's always good to hear. A couple of crits when we go in. We'll take terminal first, then uh, shelter second, uh, verge third, and blue, bird, uh, blue blood fourth. A lot of um, initiative manipulation at the beginning. You know what? Let's take verge second even. Yeah, we take Verge first because then we can manipulate the initiative and keep our uh, keep our ball rolling, healing uh, once we get hit. So that should it should be fine. As long as you can manipulate the initiative from the get go, you are going to be fine. So we got three enemies: a thrall, a resonant, and an archolite. Uh, that's not even a question. We're going to start with the archolite. Nice. Thanks to the crits, we're doing super well. Yeah, let's try to take out the high ground position. Great. And that's 100% hit. Holy moly, we almost killed everyone. Just by getting into, uh, into the mission. I can tell you, all of uh, the... Uh, main characters, Sephar, Blue Blood, and Terminal are just extremely strong with their synergies. I totally like playing with them. And um, having a tank together with them uh, makes it so much better. I haven't tried all of the combinations yet, uh, so I'm open to explore a fourth different uh, operative. But boy, oh boy, these three together are just, they are punching quite hard so here's the thing we're doing battle madness so that the thrall takes a shot onto someone else yep 
That's at least a little bit of damage. Yeah, I don't want... I don't want a 81% uh, chance, I want the 100% chance, so might as well just kill him with our newfound mind ability. Great. Next up, we do have not many enemies left. So there's one over here, there's a trooper, and there's clearly a sorcerer. So how about... Just... How about... We are using Shelter with Cooperation. And Shelter relocates the Sorcerer down here so that we can have a word. Sorcerer is also pushed back really far uh, behind. And unless something like really bad happens, we should, we should be absolutely fine. Verge takes some damage, but we're, we're good. Moving over here, I would like to grab the extra objective next turn. And since there is another enemy coming from over here, I don't want to take just any shot. Let's just overwatch in case we're being attacked. Yep. Called it out. All right, we got our null lens, aka face lens, which is great. Um, but before doing that, to be honest, I much rather would like to use that eye. And with his improved pistols, we can take out the sorcerer easy. Holding down the enemy. Yep, that's a full stun right there in the open. And the bruiser probably is going to die. We're healing up a virch. Thank you. And the bruiser is down. Got one round remaining. Even if we were to take damage, wouldn't really uh, change a hell lot. Got the extra bonus objective here. Yep. And we took everyone out. Full hit points. Really... Really not uh, difficult if you know what you're doing. Again, successful shots are going to crit. That's a very strong modifier. Stun is also not bad. And this one here is this one here is good as well. So I like the idea of going in with critting shots. And let's use blue blood with an extra action. Breach, breach. Well, hello. So, there is... A, oh, wait a second. Am I seeing a codex? Oh, yeah, I'm seeing a codex. Well, codex is our main concern. Even if we're taking shots, I really don't care. The codex needs to die. Absolutely and 100% first. All right, that's one down.
All right, blue blood got hit once. Problem is the codex uh, begins to hunker down now, but thanks to our incredibly overpowered ability to not lands. Hmm. One to it two. All right, teaming up. Still got a bit of a problem over here, but I think we're we are we should be doing fine. Let's see if we can pull off a 200 IQ play. So that definitely would be a nice uh, double hit. Move to here. Double hit over here. Triple is difficult. Codex is down to a 50-50. I don't like that a lot. I much rather would prefer to just hit the Archolite and then kill the Codex safely. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That's just a more intelligent play. Can't hit both of them at the same time. So we're going to focus on the Codex. Blue Blood, absolutely a machine when it comes to dealing damage. Much obliged. Perfect, that's one down. Both of them are disoriented, and we got a 100% chance to kill right here, which we should take. Done deal. Okay, we're trying to go for the Archon, because I don't want Afterburner to happen. Yep, and uh, double stun means it's not acting. Plus there is a good chance. I was about to say that we crit and maybe even take out um, the Thrall completely. Fortunately he survived with a small amount of hit points, but that's fine. So, wait a second, if I was to... Hmm, no, that wouldn't work. But that here would work. It's not the greatest of all moves, but it will rob the bruiser of his initiative. And we will most likely kill it before anything happens. Because now he does have no cover whatsoever. And Terminal is going to hit him. You know what? We're killing him. There we go. Go. Go now. 
Moving another action over to Blue Blood to kill the Thrall. Did not work out. I was uh, thinking if we uh, should control him, maybe the Archon is already taken down. Might as well start to soften him up. My mind over yours. Yeah, he only has one turn. And see, this is where Mindflay comes into play, right? That's 100% uh, dead enemy and two points of damage against the Archon. Reinforcements are imminent, so we need to evac. Yeah, our evac uh, is over here. Yeah, okay. Hunger down. I'm fine with that. What are we going to do? Yeah, I don't want to take a shot. We have plenty of other opportunities to kill the Archon. Best I move. Moving over here. Archon down, and good to know that uh, interrupts afterburner. I wasn't sure if it would. We are getting out of here. And that's pretty much the end of a pretty straightforward mission. Once again, reinforcements seem to be a problem in this uh, playthrough. I would be surprised if the game is going to go down again. I really got to fix the reinforcement bug. Yeah, whilst we're waiting whether or not the game works, uh, let's uh, talk a bit about mission selection. I read an interesting article about Camera Squad today talking about mission selection and whether or not to pursue um, purple missions. And the core gist of the article was uh, don't go for the purple mission, instead uh, do as many other missions as you can to level up because you need the levels. And whilst I agree with that, um, that leveling up is good. At the same time, um, there is a certain opportunity cost uh, to it. And when the purple mission simply yields the best uh, and most relevant uh, reward, then you're not giving anything um, uh, away. It's not that you're f uh, fixed on a, an overall uh, absolutely fixed time frame. There are plenty plenty of opportunities to do spare missions and and, um, and get plenty of experience. It's uh, more a matter of also managing the strategy layer. So I wasn't fully in agreement with, with what I was reading, but you might want to use the comment section to share your opinion on the topic. And I'll restart the game. 
Good, and we are back in the game. Apparently the reinforcements again didn't uh, come, but that does not mean a lot. Uh, I would have really changed anything. We were about to flee anyways. Finishing the mission in an almost flawless uh, state. Two lightly wounded, uh, very uh, well uh, played uh, mission overall. 100% chance for 20 intel. So. I'm telling you, the three characters, Verge Terminal uh, and Blue Blood together, are just uh, an almost unstoppable uh, force. Very straightforward and super um, easy to uh, to play. Um, I just read an article, um, like I mentioned, about the. Um, about the purple missions, and I'm going to try to do a bit of a bit of a trick here. Uh, we do have three more days until the uh, fringe is uh, going to be a problem. Until then, we can still do a lot of missions, and I'm probably going to do the trick, uh, the thieves mission next. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make is. Um, mm -hmm. The article made a good point that you don't need to complete the mission. Uh, you can actually gain a bit of anarchy uh, because with completing um, a storyline mission, you uh, reduce three unrest. Uh, besides, I can uh, once I build a last uh, field team, I can remove one unrest every five turns with a major time crash force. Um, so I like that sort of argumentation to level up our um, soldiers and if for nothing else other than kind of educative purposes I'm going to apply it in this run. I'm still not a hundred percent bought into the kind of stalling strategy because I never felt it was really important uh, but then again I'm open for other arguments. The article for instance also said the by uh, far most important thing is do your assembly fast and I never felt that way, for instance, uh, because yes, weapon upgrades and armor upgrades are absolutely fine, uh, but the training with uh, two additional toughness just is an um, equivalently uh, good job. And uh, training is essentially a resource which requires time, so you got to do that uh, no matter what. And once you go through it with your uh, forces, you eventually will reach the same uh, technology status with assembly. So if you can play well, you can uh, easily play far, far into the game with the base equipment. Uh, so this is more kind of a crux, it seems, for someone who would be struggling. But if you do have a strong team, Hell, you don't need any of uh, those upgrades, at least uh, nowhere soon. The skills are what's important. Uh, so I do agree that the leveling and the training uh, component is very much important. Anyways, I'm um, going a bit off topic, so um, yeah, please apology, uh, apologize for, uh, apologies for that. Um, we are going to put Axiom in here. Uh, essentially because we were at six days. Cutting it down to three days is good because uh, that will <clears throat> give us uh, the armor upgrades and afterwards I think we can do a spec up again. For now with 85 Intel what we're going to do is I want to purchase the last uh, technology piece here. Yes please. Oh shit, I just used the free team. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> so bad. Um, we, ha we had the free uh, team and I was uh, not paying attention. I definitely wanted to use the free team in order to get up to uh, level 3 here instead of paying 120. So I kind of wasted it with uh, purchasing something that would have been only worth 80. Um, but fear not, uh, we still have enough to upgrade at least to the next highest tier. Certainly not uh, the best move that I've done in this campaign uh, because I was still rambling about the idea of uh, what exactly do we want to do with the purple mission. Should have paid more attention. My bad. No excuse there. Um, 
We haven't lost that much. We can always continue getting free field teams. And uh, that's probably um, what we're going to do once we have more time. For now, let's stick with the assembly and the training. I think that's absolutely fine. We have um, the potential to reduce uh, city anarchy and getting this extra reward uh, wouldn't have been too bad. Yeah.